Hi, this is Tapcat. Today, I'd like to talk to you about what's coming up on the channel. Now, I mean that not only in terms of my next Let's Play, but going, you know, beyond that into other types of content as well. My Dark Souls series will be wrapping up this coming Wednesday, the 24th. Uh, part 47 will be the final installment. So, uh, it's time to look for another game to play. If I had to guess right now, I expect that to be XCOM 2. I have bought the game. I've had a chance to spend one evening playing it. So, not a lot. And um, so far, I like it. I wasn't... Actually, it was kind of weird because when I watched... Uh, the promotional videos and things that uh, 2K was releasing in advance. It didn't really do anything for me. Um, it's not that I disliked what I saw. I mean, the graphics looked good and everything. But for whatever reason, I just wasn't feeling that pull, you know. Uh, but, I mean, it's XCOM. And, you know, I loved XCOM Enemy Unknown. So... I bought it kind of on faith, and now that I've started playing it, <laughs> it's hard, <laughs> I must say. Um, I need some practice. I need some work to feel like I'm ready to record a series and have people watch me do this. Um, but nonetheless, I, I am already feeling like I'm getting into it. So... I'm going to play a little more. I don't know how far I'm going to go. I certainly don't have any ambitions of trying to finish the game before I start recording. Um, I just want to go far enough that I feel like I have some comfort level with the combat tactics and stuff. And then I'm just willing to accept the fact that I won't have seen all the different aliens and I won't have used, you know, whatever weapons and armor upgrades and all that or are waiting um you know i don't mind doing it semi-blind but i don't want to make it kind of a waste of time either where it's just watching me stumble my way through like 15 uh you know missions and then losing the game so uh i expect xcom 2 to be the next series if for some reason when i keep playing i find i don't like it you know then i'll cross that bridge when i come to it i will say that even assuming everything does go well then you still should expect some kind of break between when dark souls ends and xcom 2 begins because I need to play enough that, you know, I, I feel comfortable doing it. And then I do want to get a few finished installments, you know, done before I go live with the first one. I just always feel better when I know I have, you know, a few days covered and I don't have that pressure to get a new one done, you know, each day. Uh, so I don't expect it to be a long wait, but there will be a bit of a delay. Um, after XCOM 2, obviously I don't know for sure, but my inclination is Dark Souls 3 is coming out in April and I just finished obviously the original Dark Souls. I'm very interested in Dark Souls 3 and you know, there's a very good chance I will do a series on that as well. Uh, another game that has caught my eye, I don't know when or if I'll ever bring it to the channel, but uh, The Witness, I would be curious to at least try. The idea of solving these puzzles, you know, is very interesting to me. I don't know if it's a good game for a Let's Play, because um, I actually haven't watched any videos myself, and I just wonder if it comes down to kind of me sitting and <laughs> thinking, um, you know, is there going to be any real commentary I could do? Is there anything for you to watch? You know, would a uh, witness let's play almost be as good if you were doing a witness podcast? Uh, I don't know the answer to that question again, because of my own ignorance. I haven't done any real research about this game and I haven't watched video footage of it. I've just heard in very broad terms what it is. So it is something I'm interested in looking at. I'll just leave it at that. 
And if nothing else, you know, maybe what I would do if I buy the game is do one or two videos on it and however far into the game that gets me. And then if I like it and if people like watching it, you know, then I could always do more. Uh, but that's pretty speculative. So, so that's probably the only uh, things I specifically have in mind in terms of gameplay videos. Another thing that I want to do, I've, I mentioned before, I think, that I am looking to bring content to the channel that does go beyond Let's Plays. So this video itself is not just a channel update. My goal is to make this the first installment of a new series where on a regular basis, I will just talk to you about different things. So it could be a, a channel update and talking about what's coming up. It could be some thoughts that I have about whatever game I'm working on that, you know, doesn't necessarily fit in the context of a Let's Play. Like Dark Souls is such a good example of that because there's so much that goes into the decisions about, you know, how you played that game how you decided on your build and wh how, why you approached a particular boss a certain way and just all kinds of things. Um, XCOM is like that as well. You know, you could talk about any number of strategic choices in a way that goes beyond what you can do in a Let's Play. Because let's be honest, like if you're watching that video you want me to take my next turn, right? You, you know, you want me to do something. And I've always moved a little slower, uh, at least a little slower than some other Let's Players. And I try to talk through my decision making and stuff. But I mean, come on, there has to be a limit, right? You don't want to watch a two hour video of me doing one XCOM mission. And you especially don't want that to happen on a regular basis. So, you know, I may occasionally pick and choose something like that or um, something that's in the news for gaming, you know, comment on that or even just pop culture. Like I was actually um, sick. I had lost my voice when the news about the pricing for Oculus Rift came out. And um, I also got the idea of talking about the new Star Wars movie because at that time it was still a very popular topic. Then by the time I felt well enough to record, you know, I actually had a voice again, I felt like that time had passed, you know, so I just shelved that and, you know, we'll wait for other events. But those are just a couple of examples of the kinds of things we could discuss. I don't know for sure if I could stick to a weekly uh, schedule with it because it'll partly depend on my time available but I think the bigger deal is I have to have a topic that I think people would be interested in you know number one I have to be interested in talking about it so the mere fact that there would be a news story that isn't enough right it has to be something I actually give a damn about and then number two, I have to think that people would, would find it interesting if I did talk about it. So uh, I would like to do it weekly or at least close to that. This is very much a work in progress, so we're going to see how it goes. I think it's funny because I mentioned time, but in a very real sense, my challenge with time isn't so much that I just literally don't have enough hours in the day to make like a, a 10 minute video where I talk about something. It's that when I'm into a game, so up until very recently it was Dark Souls, I finished it um, the end of last week, I finished playing the game. All I want to do is play Dark Souls, you know, when I'm in that mode. And when I start playing XCOM 2 in earnest and recording the series, all I want to do is play XCOM. Like, you know, I just want to make more videos. And it really doesn't matter if um, I already have several uploaded that are scheduled, you know, over the next several days. I want to play more because I want to play more. You know, I, I love that game. And in that moment, that's what I want to do. So it's funny because 
it's not like making these other videos is something I don't want to do. I, <laughs> I've had this in mind pretty much since I came back to the channel as something, you know, I'd want to do. Um, it's just that, uh, I have to make myself stop doing the one thing to do the other, if that makes any sense. So it's not really battling the clock. It's kind of battling my own inclination towards tunnel vision at times. That's probably not the right word. Maybe obsession is a better word when I get going on a game. Um, so anyway... I don't want to overstay my welcome and wear people out. I think I'm going to try to keep these around 10 minutes and we're already slightly over that mark. So I'm going to leave it at that. And um, with any luck, roughly a week from now, you know, you'll get another one of these and we'll go from there. All right. I think that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.